What's up, everybody? Once again, my name is Matt, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we arrived here in Salacion Town. Now, when we arrived, TJ suggested that we go and check out these Salacion Town ruins, but honestly, we really don't have to do that. Like, the ruins are off to the right, and the game, like, really wants you to do that right away, but you don't have to, so... I'm not really gonna bother. Instead, we'll pick up this PP up. Now, if you do decide to go into the ruins right away, you can actually find yourself a nugget to few of the evolutionary stones and the defog HM, which you can use inside this tower to clear away the fog on the top floor, talk to a few ladies, and get some items from them. But those items aren't really needed, so I'm not going to bother. Instead, let's head inside the store and buy a few things. Um. I'm not really looking for anything particular, but I guess I will buy, like, a few Awakenings. Uh, maybe some Paralyzed Heals, too, because I do tend to get inflicted with, uh, like, status ailments a lot while battling, so these will probably come in handy at some point, and why not pick up some Super Repels, although I really don't use Repels too much, but, I don't know, maybe I'll start using them more often since I'm, like, I don't know, not battling as much. And escape ropes, those probably won't ever come in handy, but why not? I mean, we have the money for it, so I don't really care. Like, that was kind of like the most, like, random and sporadic, like, store trip ever. Like, I really didn't even plan to do that, but whatever. Um, here in Slaceon Town, you can also find the daycare center. You can drop off a Pokemon there and come back later to pick it up, and it'll be, like, some levels higher. But here we are on Route 210. Now, on this route and the next one, you can encounter a ton of trainers, like, way more than usual. So, if you are underleveled, this is the place to be. You can also encounter a few new Pokemon on this route, one of those being Scyther, which is Bug Flying at first. Then it can evolve with a certain held item after you trade it, and it'll turn into Caesar. Now, the other Pokemon you can find on this route is a Swablu, that is a normal Flying-type Pokemon. Later on, it can evolve into uh, Altaria, I believe, and that is Dragon Flying, which is a really, really cool typing, and I actually like that Pokemon a lot. Anyways, we do have a required trainer battle, so I just wanted to put Epona out front because I know his first Pokemon is actually weak to Epona. Now, it is worth mentioning that you guys agreed on the fact that I should start skipping all non-required trainer battles, so... I agree with that, and that's what we're going to do moving forward with this LP. Anyways, he sent out Bronzor, so we're just going to flame wheel this crap. Now, unfortunately, it's always raining on this route, I believe, and that stinks because rain, although it does have its advantages, it also has its disadvantages. One of those disadvantages being that fire moves do 50% less damage, so... Yeah, unfortunately- Oh, wow, the burn! Holy crap, that's actually gonna kill it. And no, don't stretch my sprite out. That's not very nice. But whatever, he's gonna die next turn anyways. Um, as I was saying, yeah, so fire moves do 50% less damage, but on the flip side, water-type moves will do 50% more damage. So, there's a few different things, you know, that, uh, Rain can do, but, like, those are the main things that you're gonna wanna worry about. Now, um, his next Pokemon, I believe, is actually weak to water, so we'll send out Carlton just because I know he has a water-type move, and, uh, the 50% increase in damage should be able to take this guy out, no problem. Now, alternatively, I could have used, like, Nettler, but I don't know, I feel like Carlton is stronger than Nettler at this point, but really, either of them would have worked perfectly fine in this situation. But, um, since we are on a new route now, Route 215, there are a few new Pokemon that we can encounter here. Uh, the first is Lickitung, which is a really, really gross Pokemon. Like, its artwork and Sprite is just disgusting. I don't even like looking at it, but it's just a normal type Pokemon. Really nothing special. And the second Pokemon that we can encounter is Meryl, which starts out as a water type. Then it can evolve into Azuril, which is a normal type Pokemon, oddly enough. It does not have the water subtyping. And then it can evolve once more into Azumarill, which is a water-type Pokemon, again. It's kind of a weird evolutionary pattern if you think about it, but I guess it makes more sense in the newer games, since they give, uh, Meryl the fairy subtyping, which sort of 
evens it out, I suppose, but I don't know. It still seems kind of weird to me. Anyways, looks like we've got to battle this guy. I forgot he was here, but I guess technically for this round, he's a required trainer battle. So I'll accept the consequences and take him on. Plus, I believe this guy only has like three Machops, so it really shouldn't be that big of a deal. And it's still raining on this route. Um, I'm going to swap out to Lofty just so I can make quick work of all these Machops. Now, I just remembered another reason why I really dislike the rain. It does that stupid and rain continue to fall message after every single turn. And like, if there's a trainer with two or plus Pokemon, that message adds so much time to the battle, it's not even funny. Like, it is ridiculously annoying. I really wish that it only happened like once, and then the only other time that you heard about it was that the rain like randomly stopped. Because you can induce rain with moves in battle that'll last for like five turns and the rain will stop. But like, if it's raining on the route, I'm pretty sure it rains no matter what in the battle. So it's like, of course rain is going to continue to fall. You don't need to tell me after every single turn. So yeah, I guess that is my rant for this episode. And I try not to rant too much during these videos because I know that does annoy some of you guys. But honestly, I had to get that out of my system. Anyways, let's just wing attack this last Machop and get him out of here. That way we can move on down this route and get the item that was nearby. I'm not even sure what it is, although there are a lot of items on this route. So I do want to get most of the easy ones. So let's just go and pick this thing up. It's a fist plate. Of course they would put that next to the trainer that uses all of fighting Pokemon. Fantastic. Um, I think there's actually another item nearby that we can get. I think it's actually down here, and it's a Hyper Potion, sweet! That's kind of nice, although we already have a few of those, so it's not really that big of a deal. Now, thankfully, we have Cut, and Cut is awesome on this route, because you can skip a lot of, like, other trainers, or, you know, just shortcut your way through this route if you know Cut, and you should know it by now anyway, so that's pretty nice. And I believe there's actually, yes, there is, there is another item over here. And I have no idea what this is, so let's find out. Oh, cool, it's an HP up. That's nice. I believe we have, like, two of each HP ups and PP ups. We should probably use those at some point, but, eh, whatever. Let's cut this tree down because there is another item behind it. And I believe this one is actually, uh, an HM or a TM. Let's see. TM34 Shockwave. Ooh, that's actually kind of nice. I could technically teach that to Amp. Um, not sure if I want to do that, though. I believe there was actually another, like, TM or HM on this, uh, route that we could have gotten from one of the fighting trainers, how do we actually talk to them, but I think I skipped him by accident, so... Eh, yeah, whatever, not really that big of a deal. I don't remember what movie actually gives out anyways. Anyways, we do have two more required trainer battles before we can make our way to the next town, so... Uh, let's see here. Actually, you know what? No, no, our team is already in the correct order because she starts out with a Roselia, so... Opponent would definitely be the Pokemon that I want out in front. I don't know why, like, I thought I had to change Pokemon there. I guess my brain just had, like, a derp moment. But I'm back now, I promise. Alright, let's do this. And gosh dang, and I totally forgot it's still raining. Ugh. That's gonna make this battle take forever. Not only do I have to wait for the text now, my fire moves are gonna do way less damage, and... Ah, dang it, I was really hoping I could kill this thing. And of course, it's gonna set up toxic spikes. Ah, this is... This is not my day, guys. Toxic Spikes is a really obnoxious move. Now, it doesn't actually inflict damage on the Pokemon that you have out. However, if you switch Pokemon, the Pokemon that you switch to will land on those Toxic Spikes and get poisoned, which is really, really obnoxious. So, it's kind of like a lose-lose situation for me right now. Because I could keep an opponent for this entire battle, but it'll drag on and take forever. On the flip side, though, if I swap to a different Pokemon to speed this battle up, I'm just gonna get poisoned, so it's like, you know, what do I do? And to top that all off, her next Pokemon is Lickitung, which is only weak to Fighting-type moves, and the only Fighting-type move that any of our Pokemon know is Rock Smash, and yeah, as you can see, not the hardest-hitting move, and of course, he's just going to use up Defense Curl, although I think... That just like cancels out the lowering defense of Rock Smash. 
So that might actually not be like the worst thing in the world for him to use. At least he's not attacking us. And the other reason we're gonna lose HP now is because we're poisoned and oh, never mind. He has supersonic. Awesome. Great. Now we're confused. That is just that is just amazing. Perfect. This could not have gone any better. Please just land the rock smash, Carlton, please. Yes, there we go. Alright, come on. Please kill the Lickitung. Thank goodness. Alright, Carlton. You done good, man. You done good. You got me through like one of the most annoying Pokemon to fight right now for our team. Fantastic. Um, what's the next Pokemon? Ralts? Alright, I can deal with Ralts. Um, who should I swap out to? I guess Maokai, because like none of my Pokemon are actually super effective against Ralts right now, and Maokai will probably do the most damage. Um, and oh yeah, I forgot about freaking poison spikes again. Ugh, that's annoying, but eh, whatever. We should be fine in this battle anyways. Uh, let's just hit it with a Razor Leaf and see what happens. I'm pretty sure that's going to kill it like instantly. We should do way more than enough damage to take this thing down. Yeah, it didn't even stand a chance. We don't even need a super effective move for a Ralts. Well, there we go. That's at least uh, one of the two trainer battles done. Uh, thankfully, I bought some antidotes, so... I guess it is a good thing that I went to the store at the beginning of this episode after all. Alright, let's get rid of this poison before we go to the next battle, though. Oh, wait, no! I didn't buy antidotes! Oh, crap, dude, I thought I bought, like, five of them! Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. Um, fine, I guess I'll use my only antidote on Maokai, because I don't think I'm going to use Carlton in this next battle. That is so stupid, man. Did they not have antidotes? Because I could have swore I bought, like, five of them. Ugh, whatever. Dang it, that really stinks. Oh well. Uh, Gilgar, we've already fought one of these before, so not really going to be a big deal to us. Although, Epona, not really going to do much damage to Gilgar, so let's swap out to Nettler and take this guy out. I mean, I probably would have used Carlton, but, you know, he's poisoned, and I really don't want him to lose any more HP, because I still got to make it to the Pokemon Center before he faints, although I highly doubt he's going to faint on my way there, since we're literally a few steps away from the next town. And the Pokemon Center is uh, pretty close by. So yes, you can screech at me all you want, Gilgar. I'm not really scared of that. Hopefully this Water Pulse will just like completely annihilate you with its 50% extra power. And there we go. That is what I'm talking about. See, this is the one time when the rain is actually acceptable. So yeah, you can continue to fall all you want. I appreciate the extra power. Oh no, a Buizel. That would actually make the rain be good for him. But I'm just going to send out Maokai. And hopefully one Razor Leaf to the face. And this guy will die before he even gets a chance to attack me. Oh, and real quick. This is actually something I totally forgot to mention earlier on in the episode. And I just remembered. But, um, because I skipped a lot of the trainers on this route. Like, just walked by them. Not, like, cut out the battles. If I need to off-screen train between episodes, that's going to be the first thing that I do. Is just go back to this route and battle all the trainers. Because, like... I don't really want to, like, not battle the trainers, because I kind of like battling the trainers, but I'm either going to cut out the battles uh, that I absolutely have to cut out, that aren't required, or just try and walk past uh, most of the other trainers and then battle them off screen. So it's not like I'm skipping them entirely, so I don't have to, like, battle them. No, I'll probably go and battle them off screen in between episodes to train up my team a little bit more, just so we don't get under leveled again, because we're at a good spot right now where we're pretty high level and you know we're not doing bad so we'll be all right with that anyways um he's on his last pokemon which is a driftlim now driftlim i believe is ghost type so it's only weak to dark type moves so i guess we'll just like spam bite until this thing dies that'll probably be our best uh method of attack and you know i can't remember if we've actually encountered this pokemon before i'm pretty sure some of the trainers in fantina's gym actually use it but I'm pretty sure we didn't encounter it when we went through there I know I encountered it on like several of my practice playthroughs of that gym but you guys didn't see that so yeah whatever not really that big of a deal though um I think these things actually have the ability aftermath so after you kill them they will deal a certain amount of damage so I've got to be careful about that, and ooh, we are a little bit low, but hopefully this bite will take it down, and hopefully... Oh, it does no aftermath. 
But uh, thankfully, 5 HP, we survived it, so ha, get wrecked. And oh man, the shell bell coming through for that, wow, 1 HP, really? Whatever. <laughs> Not that big of a deal. And ooh, Nettler wants to know Body Slam. Hmm. Do I want to learn Body Slam? I don't know, man. Ugh. I really hate when Pokemon, like, learn moves on screen. Because then I got to make a decision that, like, impacts the rest of the game. And it's like, ugh. It's that really big decision that you have to make. And I don't think I want to lose this move because I... It's like the only ground type move that like any of our Pokemon know. So I think I'm gonna ditch Rain Dance because although Rain Dance is really good for setting up like other water type moves, it's not the greatest move to have in like a normal run of Pokemon. So not really the greatest loss there. And we'll pick up Body Slam and that's a pretty decent trade off I would say. Anyways, with that, well, we are done with Route 215 and we are free to go to the next town, which is... Wait for it, Vale Stone City. There are some Team Galactic members around here, so they might be up to no good, but we'll have to check that out a little bit later. For now, let's just run to the Pokemon Center ASAP, because freaking Carlton is still poisoned, and I really don't want that, like, fuzzy screen thing to happen anymore. So we'll heal him up, and then we'll figure out what Team Galactic is up to, and probably challenge the gym, because there's really nothing else that we have to do in this town beforehand. But you know what? We're going to do that in the next episode. So if you enjoyed this part of like rating, would be greatly appreciated. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. But once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.